We're gonna start off the workout with a dynamic warm up, and the object is just to get warmed up by getting a little blood flow, get the body temperature up, which already isn't a very big problem because it's 110 outside. We're gonna start off with just the dynamic warm up, then we start off the exercises with lighter weights, then we're actually gonna use for the work set. So you go from a kind of a general warm up, warm up to a more specific one. Today's workout's going to be a dynamic warm up followed by cable low rows, one armed in a peak contraction type style followed by weighted chin-ups with a neutral grip in a rest pause style, followed by time under tension for 30 seconds, heavy one arm dumbbell rows, next followed up by back raises on the glute ham, and then straight arm pull downs done in a very, with a very controlled negative, getting a good full range of motion, and finally T-bar rows with a five count on the, on the negative portion of the rep. Branch is warming up here with after the dynamic warm up. We're starting off light on this. He's getting a good stretch on the way down and holding at the top. So not only not only does he contract, make a point to get a peak contraction at the top, but at the bottom of the movement, he's getting a nice stretch. Starting off with neutral grip chin-ups, branch getting a good full range of motion, getting that stretch up at the bottom of the movement and getting up as high as he can. Start to add some weight to the movement. With the chin-up, that's an, that's an important thing to remember too, is once you get real efficient at doing, it, at doing these with your body weight, which you will go to that point if you're not super heavy, you train hard. You're gonna to want to eventually add weight to get the most out of movement. I mean, there's, you know, when you're going after maximum growth, you know, you're gonna you're gonna get better results in the long run. You know, instead of working up to 100 reps, doing you know six to 10 reps with additional weight tied to your body weight. This is 75 pounds over branch's body weight, doing multiple repetitions. Here we're doing a. This is a rest pause set, meaning he's gonna do as many reps as possible. He gets a 20 second break, and then he repeats that again tw twice more. So unlike a drop set where the where we have to take you know weight off the bar, in this case you'd you take the weight attached to your body off, he's keeping the same weight and just getting a short, very short break for 20 seconds. And the idea is, you know, if you if this set say takes a minute and a half total and you can do 75 pounds for 10 reps on the pull-up. After you rest 20 seconds, you might initially go 10 reps. Next set four, 
you know, next step four. So all of a sudden you've done 18 reps in the course of a minute and a half, and that's really hard to duplicate any other way without using the rest and pause method. It's a very taxing technique. It can't be done every single workout for every single exercise. Here, Branch is doing single arm dumbbell rows, and getting a good stretch to the bottom. But it's important here to not only get in tune with the motor pattern, he's already warmed up obviously, but just get that good stretch at the bottom movement so you can really feel in his lower lats. Here's Branch easily repping 200 pounds in the one-arm dumbbell row as a warm-up. Again, just watch Branch get that good stretch at the bottom. This is the money set. This is the big set we were talking about. Branch is going to do a 250-pound dumbbell for 30 seconds. The idea here is to get a, get a good stretch at the bottom, get it all the way up, and once, you can, once he can no longer go, he's going to keep going as high as he can. So see, right now he's not getting full range of motion, but he's doing his best to keep that dumbbell moving. The idea is to keep the muscle under maximum tension as long as possible. So even when he can no longer go, he's going to go, you know, even if he's moving an inch, a centimeter, whatever, he keeps constant maximal tension on the mu muscle. And what makes this so amazing, what he's doing, is it's sort of taking a advantage of a few different concepts here unilateral meaning he's going with one arm very you know very good time under tension 30 seconds and then also using very heavy weight it's very hard to kind of get that kind of economy of an exercise so this is why it's really beneficial in, in helping him grow now branch is going to his left side again getting that good stretch at the bottom And that's what's good about the time under tension is there's no there's no reason to to hurry the reps to get that good stretch to the bottom because you have to go for a full 30 seconds. See, keeping the weight moving even when when failure ensues, he goes beyond that. Branch has done a 250 pound dumbbell already for 30 seconds. Here, he's going down to 200 pounds. And if you ever have any doubt about how difficult this is. You know, even try it with 50 or 100 pounds. It's extremely painful. I would say the only the only thing I can relate the feeling to is squatting very heavy weight, very deep for many reps on the squat. That'd be about the only you know feeling that's similar. Obviously, it wouldn't be you know you wouldn't have the same soreness in your legs, but it's the same type of cardiovascular strain. Again, branch getting that weight all the way up, all the way down. He's getting that full advantage of that stretch there. It's not only amazing strength, but amazing muscular endurance here. Branch is now down to 150 pounds. While normally, under normal circumstances, you know, doing 150 pounds for 30 seconds would be extremely difficult for most people, but for Branch, this wouldn't be very difficult. But at this point, he's already done two, 250 for 30 seconds, as well as 200 for 30 seconds. So he's in a lot of pain at this point, but he's still getting that good stretch and that good full range of motion. Even as Branch, is experiencing mind-blowing fatigue at this point. He still gets that full range of motion. He's able to hold, he hasn't dropped that dumbbell once. Look at it. He, it looks like he's touching the ground, but he's, he's just about an inch off the ground. So he's getting that full stretch. Look, watch the bottom of his lat and watch him get that stretch. This a, a back raise is done with a safety bar because it's a little easier to grab that way. You don't have to worry about holding on to the bar that way.
This is a very short range of motion movement. You want to keep your belly button on the pad of the glute ham, and it's about a six to eight inch range of motion. You're going to really feel it in your lower back and even in the middle of your back. This branch working out with about 115 pounds, and you know, under normal circumstances, this would be pretty light for him, but he's very fatigued at this point for the dumbbell rows. So he's definitely still getting something out of this movement. Straight on pull downs. Branch is getting a good stretch on the way up. He's doing, he's doing a real good job of keeping his arms you know, relatively straight there. Getting that stretch up, controlling the negative, getting a good full range of motion. This is one of the the most one of the most effective sort of isolation exercises for the abs. I mean excuse me for the lats when done correctly. But if you use too much weight and make this into a glorified tricep push down, so you, you lose the benefits very quickly. So you want to keep this movement very strict. It's not like a pull up where at the end of the set if you need to fight for a few extra reps and you can you know shorten your range of motion here. Full range of motion, full development. Again watch branch. Controlling the negative, good stretch, good full range of motion. We started. To, we had to lighten the weight a little bit in this set again because the whole the, the objective here is the full range of motion control for full development. This is not a power movement. This is a T-bar row, and this is one of Branch's favorite movements, um, but sometimes he, he, gets, he uses a lot of body momentum to get the weight up, so what we're doing today is we're, do, we're doing you know the movement, we're doing, we're doing it with a five second count on the negative portion of the rep. Really making sure he's doing it in a strict style, getting that full range of motion, squeezing at the top, and really controlling that negative with a five count on the way down. This is not a very heavy weight for Branch, but at this point in the workout, he's super fatigued. It's amazing he can even move at all. Not to mention it's about 110 degrees today in the gym. <laughs> 